Hi, what we're looking at here is a simulation of the tides and Earth's daily tides, as well as some special tides that are called spring tide and leap tide. So if I go ahead and just set this little simulation running, the little guy that's fishing represents one particular point on Earth. And as you're going to see, it takes him 24 hours to completely rotate around its axis that is one day and then watch the moon the moon is moving really slowly but it's pulling the tidal bulge with it and so every time the little fisherman guy makes one complete rotation the moon has traveled a little further and so have the tides again the moon is pulling the tides with it and as it, as you can see from the bulges there are two high tides and two low tides. One of the high tides is right next to the same side as the moon, closest to the moon. The other high tide is on the opposite side of where the moon is. The low tides are right in between. So right now he's at one, and then down here is another low tide. I'm going to speed this up just a shade, and what you'll notice is is when the moon is in the third quarter position, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. I'll let it get a little farther. And there we go. So right now the moon is in the third quarter position and it's what we call a neap tide. The sun and the moon are perpendicular with the earth if you could draw a line connecting them. And what you'll notice is the high tide is not as high as it once was, and the low tide is not as low as it once was. So a neap tide is when there's the smallest variation between the highest high and the lowest low. Neap tides happen during either a first quarter moon or a third quarter moon. I'm going to go ahead and continue the simulation, speed it up a little bit. I want to stop the moon when it's in the new moon position. We've got just a little ways to go. There we are. So if we look down here at our clock, we can see that 14 days have passed since we first began. We began when the moon was over here and it was a full moon. So 14 days, two weeks, about halfway through the month, halfway through the lunar cycle, the moon has made it over here into this position. That's now a new moon. And you can see that the tides are even bigger than they were during a neap tide. This is at full bulge. Uh, right now we have the moon and the sun both pulling in that direction. So in this case, the new moon is when we have the most extreme spring tides. Spring tides here and here on both sides are going to be the high tides and it's going to be the highest they get. But if we're talking about like what's the highest ever, that would be a spring tide during a new moon. One more thing to share with you. On this particular simulation, you can watch the tide as it rises every day. And I'm just going to go ahead and set it play. What you're watching as the tide goes up and down, or as this bar graph goes up and down, it's showing what the highest high is and the lowest low. And what I hope you'll notice is that the farther along in the cycle we get closer towards the, the third quarter, the less fluctuation it is. The tide just has very little variance. When it reaches that neap stage tide is when it has the absolute smallest variance of all. And it's going to keep pulling the bulge around, keep pulling it, keep pulling it. And as it makes its way towards this new moon position, you can see that the tide is becoming more dramatic more extreme, higher highs, and lower lows. But ultimately, um, what I really hope you noticed is that that tide is constantly going up and down about every six hours. That's because we have about four tides a day, two high tides, and two low tides.